Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm David Belmondo. AIDS is not an easy topic to discuss with people, but one group in Erie is hoping to bring awareness to the issue by hosting a World AIDS Gospel Concert tonight. Tierra Braddock was at the AIDS Gospel Concert at New Life and Spirit Revival Center. Joins us now from the control room. Quite the concert. Oh, yes, Dave. And World AIDS Day was officially yesterday, but that's not stopping people from celebrating it throughout the week. Urban Ministries in Erie is trying to raise awareness about AIDS by singing and dancing during their World AIDS Gospel Concert. When I was 13, I lost a family friend to AIDS. Um, you know, he was like an uncle. Timothy Vactor was one of the performers at the concert. He says when his close family friend died from AIDS years ago, it was very hard to talk about the disease. I wish that he could, you know, just live to see how well the support and the encouragement turned out and everything. Because at that time, nobody talked about it. Factor says he is starting to see a positive change in the discourse about AIDS. It feels great that people are finally like, really paying attention and finally, you know, listening. During the concert, organizers talked about AIDS prevention and also encouraged people to get tested. And this just wasn't for adults. Kids were also able to learn about the disease. We want to start educating our next generation as well as our older people. So we want to start early with them, meaning sure that they know. Thomas Lee says it took a year to organize this concert and Urban Ministries is already planning next year's World AIDS event. And a lot of those performers that were there tonight are all around the region, from all around the region, Dave. Oh, what a learning experience. Thanks, Tiara. Well, after special